Hello everyone, today we are going to present our BTEC final year project presentation. The title of our project is IoT based water quality monitoring system presented by Ija Sahmed, Farooq Abdullah and Ananya Dadhumia under the supervision of Professor Kandrapa Kumar Sharma and co-guidance of Dr. Srirajit Deka and Mr. Nukul Chaudhuri. So this is the outline of our presentation, first is the introduction, second is the motivation, then literature review and so on. Here is the introduction part. Fresh water is a whole resource that is a gift of nature and important to every aspect of human lives like farming, manufacturing and the life of human beings on earth. In the present scenario, drinking water facilities face new world problems. In this project, the main parameters that define the water quality are monitored and observed. To monitor the parameters, different sensors like pH, temperature and turbidity sensors are used. All the measured parameters are compared with the threshold value that defines the purity. Next is the motivation part. In the 20th and 21st century, there were lots of inventions. But the, at the same time, there were pollution, global warming and other environment degrading factors being formed, because of which there is a scarcity of water, drinking water for the world's population. The traditional style of water quality examiner involves the manual collection of water samples from different locales and testing them in laboratory. Hence, there is a need to develop a better system to monitor the parameters of water quality in real time. The water quality parameters, the pH sense, uh, the pH measures the concentration of hydrogen ions, each source if the water is acidic or alkaline. Pure water has a 7 pH value, lower than 7 pH is acidic and further higher than 7 pH is alkaline. The range of pH is 0 to 14 pH. Turbidity measures the large number of suspended particles in water that is unnoticeable. Higher the turbidity, higher the risk of diarrhea, cholera and other waterborne diseases. Lower the turbidity, more clear the water. The temperature measures the hotness or coldness of the water. So here you can see this is a map view of the share of debt attributed to unsafe water resources. So here you can see the timeline is from 1990 to 2019. Here you can see share of debt attributed to unsafe water resource in the form of graph. Here I have taken four countries like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh and Nepal. So this is the literature review. So now the problem formulation. The pro problem formulation of this project is to transmit and receive data in real time through a web and app, to store the data in web server, to deduct unnecessary readings, to control the device in real time remotely, make the system to alert the user when the parameters process a certain value. So these, are the, so these are the hardware components that we have used like the Bluetooth module, turbidity sensor, Arduino Uno, temperature sensor, pH sensor, smartphone, power source and Wi-Fi module. So the methodology, the system proposed here is a water quality monitoring system in the Arduino platform that measures the pH, turbidity and temperature on the water bodies like lakes and rivers using sensors. The proposed system consists of three major stages like the sensing stage, computing and controlling and the communication stage. So this is a block diagram, here you can see in the sensing stage the sensors are used like temperature, pH and turbidity. Next the computing and controlling stage where the microcontroller is used, here we have used Arduino. And then the communication stage like Bluetooth module, smartphone and the other communication part. So this is a flow chart of our project. So here when we start the module, connection is established between the controller and the network. Then the, all the sensors detect the samples. The sensors read and determine the value. Data is gathered and uploaded to the controller. 
if the data crosses the certain threshold value then the data is forwarded to the app web then the result will be displayed on the smartphone if it does not process a threshold value then again the process will continue so the work done part in phase 1, we have made all the three sensor work which measures the value simultaneously and sends it to the controller. In phase 2, we have developed an app and a website which shows the real-time parameter values of the sensors. In phase 2, we have tested the parameters of water body by placing it in a pod. So in phase 1, the simulation and the hardware implementation. So this is a simulation we have made in the software called Proteus. So these are the experimental work done that the hardware part and this is our prototype model. So this is the sensors working in the Arduino app. In the phase 2 is the app and web development. So this is the app development we have made in MIT App Inventor. So which is easy for students. So here is the UI of the app. This is a web we have developed to get the real-time data of the module remotely and here you can give here we can add certain users certain devices by giving them a particular name and we can allot locations also so this is a stored data in the web so this is a project video so this is our model first we have to connect it to power source now we have to start the web server Here we have to put our user id and password to login. Here you can see the data updates in real time. In the Arduino ID, we can confirm that the sensors are working. The data from the device is stored in the database. This is the app development part. We have made the app in MIT App Inventor. Here you can see the real-time data in the app. Thank you.
these are the experimental results of four different water samples we have taken like with lemon with soap with normal water with dirt so the future scope the eventuality of water quality monitoring system can be enhanced to gain more effective dependable results in future we will make the process and model more efficient and cost effective we will add further detectors which will help us to measure data such as biochemical oxygen demand dissolved oxygen chemical oxygen demand ammonia nitrogen nitrate nitrate phosphate etc we will add a gps which will give a precise location and give a map view for better understanding as the polar ice are melting different types of virus are also discovered we can add a virus detector if it comes up in the market will make the body robust and increase the great quality will we can add other account remains to make any mechanical use the system can be expanded to cover hydrologic artificial air pollution and agrarian product and so on it has wide operation and extension value now the conclusion is in this project we have discussed the design development and prototype of the water quality monitoring system for monitoring the natural water bodies at different locations remotely in this project we have used multiple sensors that measures the parameters that defines the quality of water it uses iot to produce any array of network of different water bodies to monitor the health of water before it's too late and take action when time is there it also alerts the admin if the parameter seeding process the set value our project mainly aims at the natural bodies close to human civilization as water bodies are dying mainly due to human born pollutants though the percentage of people dying due to unhealthy water is decreasing but it's still a danger level for many developing countries like india this project consumes a low power less complex and a cost effective solution to the existing water problem it will help in future the government to tackle this situation safely and effectively it will also help our country to make a move at a fast rate before it's too late and save lives it is a versatile system because of which simply by replacing the sensors and by making some changes within the computer code the system can be used to measure some other parameters of water so this is the so reference says so thank you.